The five melee gods, Armada, Hungrybox, Mango, Mutaking, and PPMD, will forever be remembered for their era of dominance in Super Smash Bros. melee history. With each of their stories well documented in the Smash Bros. film produced by Samox, the legacy of the five melee gods is deeply rooted into the foundation of the modern competitive timeline. This talented group of players stood in their own playing field above the rest of the competition, and spectators would tune into live tournaments knowing it would come down to the question of which god is taking it today. What was so great about these dominant players, from a spectator point of view, is that they all had fascinating and unique play. For a sample of five competitive players, their characters were extraordinarily diverse. They were also each masters at their own craft. There was Mutaking, with his robotic precision and unmatched ledge play. Armada, with his revolutionized technical peach and impenetrable edge guards. PPMD, with his brilliant neutral game and masterful fundamentals. Hungrybox's destructive and consistent capitalizations on any mistake his opponent can make. And Mango's world class ability to style. Oh! With their differing playstyles, there is still one thing they all had in common, and that is time. Yes, they did all possess exceptional skill at playing the game, but even with the acclaimed title of God, there was no God who got there without battling their human constraints first. They say that to become an expert in any skill, you need to put in at least 10,000 hours. Most of the five gods of Melee have been playing since they were kids, and now one even has a kid. But by no means am I saying that the five gods achieved their prominence through time alone. There are plenty of players who began competition amidst the five gods and still lag behind them to this day. There's no clocking in your 10,000 hours in exchange for god status, but at the very least it's a prerequisite. It is the combination of the smarter practice from the five gods and the stagnation of the other players that puts the top five above the rest. Smart and deliberate practice is a topic for a future video, but the stagnation of players pertains to the matter at hand. I've discussed plateaus in the past, and they are rather visible in old school players who seem to be forever destined to be worse than the five gods, but better than those who plateau below them or just haven't caught up yet. The importance to this all is to acknowledge the fact that improvement takes time. Acknowledging that your expertise will take much time to develop allows you to possess the mentality that allows for maximal growth. This mentality is the one that looks at the long term. The players who possess the long term view are the ones who are bound for success. If you possess the long term view, you see each tournament as an opportunity to learn. You are almost eager to attend a tournament so you could lose, just so you'll have something concrete to learn from. The long term view sees tournaments as an opportunity to learn now, so you could be an expert in the far future. Those with a short term view see each tournament more so as an opportunity to win and get noticed. This is a very quick way to hinder growth. The short term view is easily inherited once a player gets one notable win or placing and falls under the false belief that they're good enough now and don't need to focus so much on the future. It's when your mindset shifts from long term to short term where you begin to learn much more slowly from your experience and stagnate. Years, years, and diss tracks later, old school players have still found success but their skill has not grown at an unusual rate, and their gap from the gods still seems unfazed. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but it's just the longer you're into the game, the harder it is to keep a long-term view. Let's take a look at this chart. From this, we could determine the time it took each player to achieve the status of god. The first tournament was taken as the first tournament recorded on SSB Wiki and the tournament after God status was achieved was taken from a reddit thread by user drake234. We see that it took Armada 2 years and 6 months, Hungrybox 2 years and 3 months, 
Mango, 11 months. Mewtwo King, 1 year and 9 months. And PPMD, 1 year and 10 months. Note, it is likely these players took the game seriously sometime before SSB Wiki's records. For example, PPMD was a Mario main since 2007, but his first recorded tournament is in 2009, where he was notable with his Falco. Examining the time to achieve God status, we see on average it took almost two years. Mango is clearly an anomaly, achieving God status in under a year, but that's the Mango. In current times, we know the four active gods as four of the best melee competitors, but a few younger players have shaken up the top competition and sparked a new era in competitive melee. Other old school players, with their years of experience ahead, still remain in our worldwide top 100. If you enjoy the content I'm creating, give me a DK thumbs up and spank that subscribe button. New uploads every Monday and Thursday, so don't miss out. Thanks, guys.